any guidelines you would give to the fresh engineers or the young guys who are becoming engineers? <laughs> I, I wish I could say something which they will agree with, but it's very difficult. You know, you ask me, what is, what is attracting them to the IT sector? Mm. One, of course, as you said very rightly, is the money. We interview engineers today who are fresh out of college. The first question they ask us, sir, is it a five-day week or a six-day week? Mm. So I said, have you ever heard of a manufacturing unit working five days a week? Mm. Uh, sir, uh, I know we would prefer a five-day week because info says blah, 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 whatever. Okay. Right. And secondly, your factory is a little bit far away. So we have to travel for one and a half hours from our, from our home. If you were, if you were located close by, maybe we could sacrifice on a six-day week. I said, my God, this is, this is mind-blowing for me. <laughs> well, I can only say this. Uh, uh, if you look at the differences between India and China, uh, people work 12 hours a day. And we here, we, uh, people work eight hours, seven, seven and a half hours. Hard work is just not there in India. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it's got a lot to do with this kind of uh, freebie culture. <clears throat> which the politicians are competing with each other to win votes. Right. My personal feeling is it's, it's destroying the work ethic for future generations. We may get away with it, but maybe 20 years from now, people aren't used to working hard, working hard. and earning bread, you know, earning for it. Uh, you can't be in air-conditioned rooms and air-conditioned transport all the time. You and people don't want to dirty their hands. I don't want grease. I don't want oil. Right. That's going to be a bugbear. Uh, I hope things change, but I don't have an answer. I can only say that uh, hard work is absolutely necessary, which um, I don't see now, unfortunately.